this though. On the Kuro, Easy Hoon going in. He pops the knife. Is it enough? Easy Hoon. Oh, did he get him? The poison. Ticking. He no! got him. He doesn't get the shield from the turret. And the kill goes to Easy Hoon. Who is this guy? And what yeah. have you done with Easy Hoon to Twitch? This puts a lot of pressure on a lot of men. Exactly. Yesterday's NA strength was the rolling and double if he's actually going to do that. He is 0 to the end the EF to see right now. Here, here is also on the cooldown. This opens up for double if. Tidal Wave oh, will oh. not knock him out, but it's fine. He's going to hit a lot. Oh. Watch away from Kira. Oh. Oh. Correct. <laughs> that is your 1v1 champion from IWCA picking up the kill and dodgeable. Another kill to SKT. Westall does not have Chumba Waters and not going to be able to do anything to fake it in. I really like the way Bengi played that because he waited. He knew that Ziv's flash was still up. So he was waiting. There were two conditions he was waiting for. One, Ziv flashes, he cocoons him afterwards. Two, he gets low enough that they can kill him during the cocoon duration. And we have some... Wow. Bank is going to get killed. Whistle follows the flash. May not survive. Oh. One more hit. The melee minions chasing, and Whistle wins the 1v1. Didn't even follow the flash. He quit. Yeah, has the potion ticking too, but nicely done by Westor. I predict the slow mo zoom in from our observers. Knife right there. Wow. My prediction not as really good as Westor. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> really nice stuff from Westor. Come on! So the teleport can easily be used for Hunter to get the tech experience on the backside, where TSM is feeling a lot of experience down bottom. No gold exchange, but definitely experience every bottom. Do he really get pushed around by Bjergsen? The damage up there puts the E forward, and he's gonna flash in for the first blood! Bjergsen crushes Huhi! Wow, that is huge for this. Bjergsen, it's been a while since we've seen him so... Stone, so the visits into the jungle not as fruitful. And there's the jump mark coming in. And will it be enough? The pop and the ignites! Vivid and the barrier just there's the jump bar coming in. Really? Down again against an aggressive pick making team. Faker eats two shurikens. The knockup is interrupted as Febivin materializes. Ignite oh. plus one more. That is two 1v1s in a game. Febivin is uh, studying from the porn style of mid lane <laughs> play. Get a so. Two destinies for every single teleport spell right now. Amazing J, getting aggressive by Bangi. It should be fine to make his way out. The wave will reset too. So overall, EG falling back into the game with the globals. But teleports are about to come up again. And that could swing in in favor of SKT again. And Bangi bought a sight stone and is ahead of Amazing J right now. If you just like to track that money, he's still got more. And then there's poor Nar top lane right now. Mid lane turn also goes down. The flash engage from Faker. Yeah, there's the room prison in there. All of the spells, all of the time. Faker, the 1v1 against Pawn. And that's with Rod of Ages and Tears still stacking up. And we talked about this matchup earlier. We said Rise can't touch TF because he will get gold card every time he aggresses well.